What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of the new iOS 4.1 software update for the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right into this and start looking at some of the new features. So I'm going to start off with iTunes, there's a couple updates in it. Uh, first off, the main thing is their new social network, Apple has added. Uh, if you go into iTunes and hit ping, what you're going to do uh, is it's going to open up the social network and you're, it's basically a uh, music discovery tool. Uh, you can follow your friends, you can follow your favorite artist, uh, you can like music, uh, you can basically find new music by what your friends like and what you recommend. Uh, people can find music that you like. So it's a pretty cool uh, music discovery tool. You can follow people kind of like in the style of Twitter. Uh, they can follow you and yeah, you can leave comments on stuff that people like. There's a lot of stuff in it. Uh, here we got activity. You can see all of uh, my activity and all the people that I'm following. I'm actually only following one person. Uh, also, people. This is where you can find people to follow. Uh, you can go to my profile. And uh, that shows you all of my stuff. And it basically shows you what I've been doing. And that's basically it. You can go and like albums, uh, songs. Uh, you can recommend things to people and people can see what you like and you can see what other people like. Uh, if you would actually like to follow me on Ping, I don't know how much I'm actually going to be using it because all the music I like, I like certain genres of music and I don't think I'm really going to like anything else other than that. Uh, but you can go ahead and follow me on it if you would like to. Uh, I'll have a link or information below on how to do that in the description below. The next thing is TV shows. You can now download TV shows directly to the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad using the new 4.1 software. Uh, this is pretty cool. Uh, also, if you guys know, Apple is actually going to be allowing uh, 99 cent TV show rentals uh, once the Apple TV is out. I'm not sure if they've already started doing this, but that's going to be a pretty cool update to TV shows also. The next cool thing they released in 4.1 is the Game Center. It's actually been out, uh, but it hasn't really been working, but now it definitely is working. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a little walk through this. Uh, as you see here on the main page, once you're logged in, you use your Apple ID to log in. Uh, we've got Friends, Games, Achievements. Uh, I haven't really did anything with this app except get a lot of friend requests. As you can see, I've already got 55 friends, and I've got 12 friend requests pending. Um, it tells you your account here. You can put your status. My status right now is making videos on the new iPods. Uh, and you've seen I just got a pop-up telling me that I had a new friend request. <laughs> okay, you can see your friends. Scroll through all of those. You can hit the plus button to add new friends uh, or to send a request to be a new or get a new friend. I can go to games. Uh, find Game Center games. I'm not really going to do that right now. Uh, and then you can do request. You can see all the people that's requesting to be your friend. Now what this is going to do, it's kind of like a social network for uh, everybody that plays games on the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. Uh, I haven't really used this much at all. It just came out really and it's just started working. I'm not really too fond of this app. I don't really care to know what people are playing and everything. I only play a few games on my iPhone because that's all I have time for and I really like those. Uh, but maybe this will come into use because I know a lot of people do use this as a portable gaming system. Uh, it actually is the number one portable gaming system system sold in the world. So I guess this could come in handy for a lot of people and people can connect with their friends and see what they're up to. So there you go. The Game Center is the social network for gamers on the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. Now if you would like to send me a friend request on the Game Center, uh, my username is TyMoss, T-Y-M-O-S-S, -S, so you can go ahead and send me a request. Another new thing that they added is now you can upload videos in HD directly from the iPhone. Here I have a video pulled up, I'm going to hit send, uh, and then send to YouTube. And as you see now, I, I'm actually not logged in, but I don't know if you can tell, uh, when you're uploading the video to YouTube, you can actually select the option to upload it in HD. So what that's going to do is, there you go, you can see it now that i got a little Game Center request. You can see that it uploads in HD and how uh, how big it is compared to the center definition. Uh, so that is a pretty cool feature. I'm not actually going to demonstrate that. There's no reason to. Uh, but stay tuned, I actually will be uploading a HD test from the new iPod Touch camera. So that's pretty cool. Now the final feature that I'm going to talk about today in the iOS 4.1 software is HDR photos. So let's go ahead and open up the camera app. Alright, as you see when you open it, you notice a difference. Uh, you've got HDR button up here at the top. You can turn it on or off. So let's go ahead and turn it on and I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I can show you what this thing actually does. 
So HDR actually stands for High Dynamic Range. Uh, that is basically a new way to take pictures, and it makes it like takes three pictures and combines it into one, and it's supposed to make it look a little bit clearer and like more. I I don't know how to explain it. It kind of looks more bold to me, I guess. Uh, it defines stuff a little bit better. Um, I did take a few tests with this, which we will look through in just a second, but I kind of wanted to show you how this worked uh, before we showed you some uh, examples. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to take a picture of my desk, and I'm going to hit camera button, and you see it says saving HDR. Takes a few seconds longer than uh, the other pictures do. Now what it's going to do is save two different pictures. Here's the HDR photo. You can tell which photos are HDR by tapping and it'll have a little HDR uh, logo up there at the top. And you can see the regular image. So let's see, compare this image to this image. I kind of got a glare on my screen, sorry about that. Uh, so let's go ahead and show you some examples. But that's basically how it works. It takes three pictures and it's supposed to make it look a little better. I don't know if you can really tell a difference in these by just looking through it on YouTube. Okay, so now that we're zooming in a little bit, maybe that'll help you out a little bit. So let's scroll from left to right. Uh, you see this is a regular image, this is the HDR image. You can tell a little bit of a difference. Um, I did notice, I took some pictures. Uh, here's one outside. This is an HDR photo. As you see, it's got the HDR tab or tag. Um, there's an HDR photo. There's a regular photo. I don't know if you can tell in here, but really, in my opinion, this photo, the original, looks a little bit better than the HDR photo. Uh, what it, it it seems like what the HDR photos do is just make the like the white balance in the uh, pictures go up. It's like kind of like it adds more white to the picture. That's basically all it does for me. Um, here's another picture I took. This is an HDR photo. Uh, here's the regular photo. If you if you look at it, in your in my opinion at least. The HDR photo looks a little bit better. You can tell the, the tree's really green right here, uh, and the tree looks a little bit whiter here, as well as my skin skin tone totally changes. Some of the pictures looked a little bit better than others. Um, I, th I noticed that in the light, it didn't look as better. Like, this looks pretty good. This looks a little bit lighter. Uh, I, it just makes the pictures either darker or more whiter. I don't know if I really like it. It's not really an amazing feature to me. I uh, don't know if it's going to come in handy. Here's a picture of my... Uh, wall of electronic boxes uh, that was the HDR when compared to this one there's not really much of a difference some of them come out better looking than the other and some of them don't uh, I really just depends on the lighting I suppose like this one doesn't really look all that amazing this one looks a lot better in my opinion you can see how much darker my skin looks um, how much more real it looks. So that is basically a rundown of the iOS 4.1 software. Please let me know in the comments below this video what you think about this. Do you like the updates? Uh, is there anything you'd like to see? Uh, is there any changes you'd like to make or any bugs you've seen? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments below. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Uh, thanks for watching. And be sure to hit the little subscribe button right up there above this video uh, to get more videos on the new updates with the iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, iPod Nanos, and more. Uh, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.